what's going on? It's Young Larry, aka King, Lord, Emperor, Overtaker of the L's, and today we're reviewing Future Drake. What a time to be alive. Drake, Future, if you're not aware, Drake, Toronto, on Toronto, Canada rapper, Future, Atlanta rapper. Um, the project sort of first came about with some random mysterious artwork that went up on Instagram. Lean covered out. Dope, by the way, you ever made that, you're awesome. Um, but it was kind of like, oh, what if? Because considering Future sort of come back up to the top and Drake's already overarching year of just fucking everything up, it was kind of like, that would be some real top dollar, top headline type shit, right? Turns out that cover art, while that not being a particular cover art, the collaboration did get confirmed. And next thing you know, we have What A Time To Be Alive in all of its, you know, trying to be Watch the Throne Glory with the diamonds on the cover. Eh. Another stock image. Eh. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna get into the whole cover art thing right now. But, in terms of the project, Drake talked about going down to Atlanta with Future and, you know, just hooking up to do some music and it turned out they ended up doing the whole album. Um, and they made it, and I think, a very short amount of time, dare I say, between a week, two weeks, something like that. Um, and it shows the project, up point is 11 tracks good stuff um the bad part is that whole being made in a short time span thing does kind of show at times because drake is still drake he remains consistent um being the king uh ruler of hooks and catchy melodies and things like that but future is still sounding very meh um Throughout the album, it's kind of like Drake Drake has that natural energy, the energy that he's had all year, um, showing up on these more uh, rugged tracks with rugged artists and, you know, trapping and doing shit with the game. All that, that's sort of outside of his normal image. Uh, he's back again, sounding really good, despite the simplicity behind a lot of the songs. But that's the thing with this whole project, it screams simple, like, super simple and super basic and super just a fire oak get it which is the point and why it sells so good because this whole album is nothing but hooks um there are some catchy lines in there like calling drake shouting out metro Boomin, who is the main producer for this project next to southside and one track with 40 uh drake's main number one producer um I don't know what it is about Future, but I can't get past the lean sludge covered bars. Um, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a way back time, um, I could fuck with them. Uh, not too hard, but I can get with things like, you know, turn on the lights and at the same damn time. He sounded the way he sounds now, um, only a little bit more upbeat, a little bit, dare I say, brighter. Uh, but this whole real heavy into drugs thing is affecting the way his voice sounds. And it's affected this music what I consider to be the worst. Um, and I'm not really with it. I'm not here for it. Uh, there's about three or four tracks that stand out on here. The main one being Jumpman, which is literally the hook is nothing but Jumpman, 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 Jumpman. Jumpman, 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 Jumpman. Like, and then they go into some verses. It's, but really the whole, what you're gonna hear people saying is, Jumpman, 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 over and over and over again. And that's all you need. Uh, that's again the simplicity while I personally am not fucking with it the whole time It's where the project shines if you're a Drake future person You're gonna love it because all you need is the first I mean, 45 seconds of every track and you're in there um, Diamonds dancing again repeating the same words on the hook over and over and over again It's simple. It's catchy and it's easy to just attach yourself to um, now in terms of songwriting all that Meh Drake is better than this um Future, he's on par. Drake, you, you, I mean, if natural synergy, whatever is nice, but you better than this, son. Come on now. Um, all in all, Diamonds Dancing, Jumpman, 30 for 30 Freestyle, which is the most Drake-esque track throughout this sea of trap and lean covered production. Um, and it is, the, it is the track produced by 40, uh, which of course, Drake's the best song on the project is from Drake and his producer. Um, what a time to be alive, man. 
it was mar it was sort of pushed as a mixtape, but this is on iTunes. You have to pay for this. Um, and in which case, I'm saying, go find you a link, download it, because it is mixtape quality. Just like if you're reading this, it's too late. Mixtape quality made its way to iTunes. Now, this fits into this whole conspiracy of maybe Drake's working some kind of dark light skin magic to get out of his contract with Cash Money. Maybe. This is technically a Cash Money slash Epic Records project, and it is counting towards his uh, contract obligation. So who knows? Maybe when views from the six drops, it won't be tied to Burnman. But, you know, conspiracy theories are out there. Uh, in the meantime, what a time to be alive. Drake the Future. Fuck. <laughs> um, if you are a fan of Future, if you are a fan of Drake, you're gonna lose your mind. You're gonna be all over this shit. If you like simple, catchy songs with really basic ass hooks and basic ass songwriting and basic, 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 you're gonna be here. Um, the product is meant to be simple. It's not doing, it's not trying to do too much. It's good. But in terms of you're gonna look a little bit deeper, it's, it's, it's some low quality mid tier type shit and we're not here for that. But with Time To Be Alive, download it, save yourself some money, save that for some other projects coming out later on. Save it for the views from the six. There you go, you're dividing your money the right way. Outside of that, it's Young Larry, AKA Tiger, has nothing to do with this review, but he's taking an L right now. Unnamed music show, Al Morgan. Don't, don't talk shit on the Sis God. Y'all have a good day.